Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Recently, an earthquake hit Turkey and some part of Syria. It has taken the lives of approximately 40,000 people um, until this video is uploaded. Earthquake has, has been historically, if not permanently and forever, the biggest threat from nature to the humankind. However, in front of the overwhelming forces that nature has put on us, I believe that the humankind have got into a point where such disaster can be effectively reduced on its power and its effects if we unite and if we stay together. For that purpose, I have created the newest, the latest artwork that I'm willing to share in this video. I also hope it encourages everyone in front of this screen to get through the difficulties of our time. I especially hope that this video can get to audiences in Turkey or Syria or any place in the world that is suffering from disasters, catastrophes from the nature. Let us begin. Turner, an Impressionist standing at the crossroad of Romanticism and Realism. In his painting Hannibal and his army crossing the Alps, he added people, the tweeny tiny people, at the bottom of the huge wave of the storm. That's what makes the storm seem strong, that's also when human beings show their full strength. Two centuries later, facing the damage of the catastrophe in Turkey and Syria, we are rebuilding this thing today with my own innovation. As a starter of a school of taking light from the outside world out of the studio, Turner is famous for his materials used when he's painting. Today, we are reusing his methods. And after some trials and errors, we found that purple and black creates a perfect background of the wave of the, st of the water and its darkness and dirtiness, while um, white processed with this kind of stroke, this um, some kind of wild stroke can create a sense of um, water clashing and splashing. After setting the basic rhythm of the whole painting, um, I switched to another brush that creates a, a stroke that uh, roughly processes the details of the water and some of the background. Then we need to cover these pr processes the, in the middle and finalize the painting with some detailed approaches. The painting is now lack of the relation between light and shadow. so. We usually use detailed strokes to paint whiteness in the middle of blackness. Finally, we have come to the critical part of the painting, the characters. It is important that when painting the human characters, there is only one chance for each brush so as to not interfere with the background. And that's why we have to be extra careful. Now, the painting is temporarily finished. Every time when I study the original painting, I always think there is something lacking. Like a light, maybe. A torch. So that's why we are adding it to our new innovative piece. I experimented um, for a few times and found the perfect distance between the burning flame, the burning candle, to the canvas. Now we're going to ignite it. So much for the face one. Now, the real one is going to begin. Homo sapiens, tiny creatures so vulnerable 
in front of Mother Nature. Yet, as Hemingway puts it, a man can be destroyed but not defeated. In front of nature, human have never been afraid. So that's the end of the um, of this video. I beg you to feel absolutely obliged to share this uh, share this message in any form you like to help rebuild the areas that are affected. That's all. Thank you.